Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the mobile menu font size for your Squarespace website. All of the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, taking a look at the mobile view of my website. If I click on my menu icon here, we'll see the mobile menu on this site that has a bunch of links, it has a button, and it has a folder that contains even more links. We're going to adjust all of this with custom code. I'm going to navigate to Pages on the left-hand side of the screen, and then I'm going to select Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. This is where you're going to paste the code that you'll find in the description below. This first code I'm going to paste here changes the font size and increases the clickable area for the links. I want to make sure that this website still meets accessibility standards. So what I've done is I've changed the font size to something smaller, in this case 25px, but I increased a little bit of padding on the bottom. So there's still a clickable area directly underneath the link. We want to make sure there's enough space that it's accessible for people to use this menu. Now you can adjust either one of these values, maybe 35 for a gigantic font size, or maybe 15, whatever you need to change it to for your own unique font style. Adjust the 25px for the size, and adjust the padding where it says 15px here in this example. All right, this next line of code is going to change the font size for the button. We just saw it increase in size right there. Now, if you want that button to be more prominent, you can try a large font like 20px that can scoot it into two different lines of text, We've got a lot of different options here. Again, just as customizable as this part of the code at the very top. You can also make this much smaller if you want to. Buttons will have a little bit more padding, so it'll still be really clickable. So this part of the code isn't really that necessary for just changing the font of the button. Now, before we continue into the folder here, one thing I want to share with you is changing the alignment of this text and this button vertically. If you want to scoot these links to the top of the page here, this line of code will make that magic happen. This line of code here says take all the content in the folder and put it at the very start of the container and that's why it pulls it up to the top. Now your button will still be placed at the bottom of the menu. If you want to move this up as well, I've got a different code for you. Instead of adjusting the content to flex start, we're going to adjust the min height for the entire folder and that's going to pull that button up. Now, as you add more links to your main navigation, the button will scoot down to accommodate. But if you want to scoot the button up and the menu to the top of your mobile menu, use this line of code right here that says header menu now folder min height zero. All right, now that we've made some changes here, I'm going to go ahead and select save. It's always good to save your work. And let's take a look at our folder. Clicking into the folder option, you'll see that these links still have a lot of space. We did change the font size with this code right here, but there's still a lot of space underneath them because not only do they have our new padding assigned to them, but they also have a large margin that's built right into Squarespace. I'm going to reset that margin with a little bit of code so we can see more of the links inside this folder. This new line of code says when a folder is open, when it's active, I want you to take any link inside that folder and let's change the top margin to 5px. Now, just like all the other values, we can make that zero if we want to, but that is perfect for the font size and font family that I've chosen for my mobile menu. But if you have a folder, I want you to take a look at what the links look like after you've changed their font size, just in case you need to adjust their margin to make them clickable and visible. Now, after you've made all the changes you want to make, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. This tutorial shows you one of the many things that you can do to customize your Squarespace website using CSS. If you'd like to learn more about creating your own custom codes, grab my free guide available at insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. You'll find a link to it underneath this video where you'll also find all of the codes that I just used in this tutorial and links to other related resources. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.